so I'm still climbing the mountain to go to the Benton Falls trailhead and this overlook is just beautiful I like this area a lot um, a lot of uh, rafting kayaking little outfitters that I've passed. I may have to look into that. Yeah, there's one more family here beside me, but this is another overlook of this beautiful area. I took a picture of the name of the overlook because I knew I wouldn't say it right. I'm just now starting the Benton Falls Trail. Looks like they've had a controlled burn up here, a lot of it. And there's a really huge lake um, at the parking area. But there's workers and men over there. They've drained the lake dry and they're redoing something on the spillway area. So it's not anything pretty to look at at the moment. So we're going to keep, or I'm going to keep going down this trail and see what this falls looks like. Pretty peaceful except I can hear the men yelling at each other because they're trying to work across the lake. Well, if this were green, it'd be pretty. It's a pretty day. Sun finally came out. I see a blue blaze on a tree up ahead. I'm assuming that's this Benton Trail. Hello, little one. There's a pretty dogwood blooming. There's another one behind it. This is a quiet trail. I like it. I think it's going to be prettier in the summer. Yeah. Laura left today, going back home. The kids were here for a few days. Laura came for two nights and a few days. We had a lot of fun. Took her to Rock City and Sunset Rock. We did a lot of walking, biking on the um, Tennessee River Walk. It's 16 miles. We didn't do all of that, but we did several, probably more than several. It's been a lot of fun. Good to have company. But now I'm back to myself. So I decided to come on out, keep walking. There's that blue blaze. Well, at least the left side of the trail is turning green. I've been going at it for a little while. Uh, maybe about 30 or 40 minutes. So the burn is on the right. I can finally hear the water. So I should be getting close to a river in the falls. And I'll just keep on. I just got on a switchback off trail. It says the falls are this way. So we're going to go see what this is about. Let me zoom out a little bit. Take these steps down. Tell you what, when you get on these back trails and there's nice stone and steps and somebody did a lot of work. I've noticed that on a lot of trails. I guess that's why you pay to park. 
upkeep the trails and walkways. Music to my ears. I see the river. Let me just get out of here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I think I'm at the top of the falls right here. You're going to have to walk on down to see the full effect. Yep, this is the top. Holy cow. I'll have one more and that's all. Alright, Pete. I'm right at the drop off. So let me go back up. This was worth the hot, oh, I see people. Oh, there's more people. Hold on. Okay, I just passed another family group of about five and she said, girl, you've got it all to yourself. There's nobody else down there. Said it was worth the descent. It's a steep descent. Um, we'll see what we see. Gonna get down there and have a little lunch, a little late lunch, and then I'll be refreshed to climb back up and go out. Uh, this is definitely a repeater. I would come back here, it's been so pleasant. Let's just look at the canopy of the woods, it's beautiful. Hello, butterflies. Y'all have followed me on this trail. Feel like. Man, this is a lot of steps. But you know, everything can't be easy. And the outcome is worth it. Getting close. Oh yeah, you see it in the back? Oh, that's pretty. I can also see the river. You see the river through the trees. But man, this looks good. Wow. Tricky. This is just so stunning. I love this layered rock.
That's a big one, y'all. You're a long one. Oh, about eight inches, I guess. Bye.